Hey, welcome to a Pearl and Every Cow Slips Ear. This afternoon, uh, I'm going to do a math lesson. This is from uh, Math CLE Math 800, uh, book 8th grade, book 7, 807, lesson 7, on how to extract square roots. Um, these guys are a little difficult for everyone. And if you notice in the CLE curriculum, they are putting a now what sign do they put? A star beside these problems. And that means it's not necessary that the student actually knows this, as in they're not necessarily going to be tested on this. But I think it's really good to know, and so I hope in this video to explain it to you so, so you can teach your students or so you can know if you're a student. Um, the, problem, the problems that CLE gives us are all perfect squares. That, uh, every one of these numbers will come out perfectly, which is very rewarding when we do it. Before we, we begin, I would like to make a list of what the squares equal. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4, we get 16, 5, we get 25, 6, we get 36, 7, 49, 8, 64, and 9, 81. Okay, just so we know what we're talking about. Now, the first step in dealing with this is to move from the right and block it off two digits at a time. So we'll take these two digits and I'm going to put a carrot in there. We're going to break it up. Two more digits, put a carrot in here. So we're first of all looking at this 10 and we say this 10 would fit into which one of these square roots? So what number would this, what number squared would be 10 or smaller? And we can see that 3 goes 9 and 4 is 16. So 9 is smaller than our 10. We're going to want to go with 3. So we'll start with 3 up top. And then take 3 squared equals 9, and then we work it like a normal division problem. There's subtraction happening here. 10 minus 9 is 1, and then we bring down this whole set, this 49. We bring down the two digits at one time, 49. Now, here's where it begins to get different. Um, let's remember 2. Let's call 2 our, our magic number, our key, whatever you want to call it. So everything has to revolve around the two. Th these numbers will. Now... We will take the quotient so far, 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, 6 goes into 149 about how many times? Or 6 goes into 14 how many times? Let's just do that. 6 goes into 14 how many times? Uh, 2. It goes 2 times. Now, we're going to put that 2 two different places. We'll put the 2 up here, and then we'll also put the 2 down here. Now, to get our number to subtract, we go 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 6 is 12, 124, 149 minus 124, 5 and 2, we have 25. Now, we'll bring down the 76, bring down the 76. Now, once again, we have to play with our 2 and go to the quotient, 32 times 2 is 64. 64 goes into 2576 about how many times? So I'm going to say 6 goes into 25 about how many times? Let's try 4. 4 times. We'll put the 4 here, and we put the 4 here. Now, 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 times 4 is 16, 17. Carry the 1. 4 times 6 24. 25. 25, 76. 0. We did it. It's very rewarding. Remember, you need to always take the quotient times 2 to figure out what to divide this by. Also, remember, you must always write your number two places, here and here, here and here, except for that very first time when you start out. Okay, so the first step is to divide it into 2, coming from the left. Divide it there and divide it there. 1 fits uh, 2, the square root of 2 is, we're going to have to go with 1, 4 is too big, so 1 1 squared is 1, subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1, bring down the 62. Now, 1 times our special 2, 2. 2 goes into 162 how many times? Now, we can see that it's going to go in 8 times, but I'm worried because 2 times 28 is going to be bigger than 162. And in fact, 2 times 27, 49, 4, uh, no, we went 8, 7. 7 times 27. 49, 14, 18, even 7 is too big, so we're going to have to use 6. 
6. Put our 6 there and put our 6 here. 6 times 6, 36. Carry the 3. 6 times 2, 12. 13, 14, 15. And 162 minus 156, 12 minus 6 is 6. And we'll bring down the 44. 44. Now, take our 16 and go times 2. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 goes into 64 how many times? Let's just try two times. Write our 2 here and our 2 here. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 644 worked out perfectly. Okay, let's try the next one over here. Moving from the left, put in a carrot, put in another carrot. Okay, so 47. What number squared would be a little less than 47? It's going to be 36. 7 would be too big, so 6. 6 squared is 36. Let's do subtraction. 1, 1. Bring down the 19. Now, 6 times our special 2. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 goes into 11, 19. How many times? Ah, uh, what do we want to do? Uh, I want, I'm, let's test a 9. So if we put a 9 here and a 9 here. <coughs> I'm going to test an 8. Put an 8 here and an 8 here. Let's see what it works. 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 2, 16. 24. I think it will work. Uh, 8 times... No, wait. Let me do my math right. 64. 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 6 is 22. Carry the 2. 8, 9, 10, 10, 24. We can still subtract. Good. 8 was a good choice. 9 minus 4 is 5. Uh, 11 minus 2 is 9. It's too late in the day and my math is coming slowly. 95. Bring down the 69. 69. Now, take our 68 times 2. 68 times 2 is 136. 136 goes into 95 about how many times? Uh, I think 13 goes into 95. Uh, this is going to get a little tricky. I'm going to try... Hmm. I'm going to try. I'm going on a... I'm pretty sure it's going to be a 3. Let's try a 3. Put a 3 there and a 3 there. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 6 is... Ah, it's not working. 3 times 6 is 81. No, 3 times 6 is 18. Okay, the 1, 3 times 3 is 9, 10. And 3, no, it's not near big enough. Ah, let's try a 7. Seven. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Four. Seven times six, forty-two, forty-six. Here are the four. Seven times three, twenty-three, twenty-five, two, nine. It worked out perfectly. Six hundred eighty-seven. Now, how did I know this was either going to be a three or going to be a seven? Here's why. It has to equal, come out evenly. It needs to come out perfectly. So I am looking right away at this 9. I'm looking at this 9, and from this 9, my eye is traveling on over to this 9 and this 9. And now I'm going to show you something that isn't in the CLE, um, uh, to my knowledge. And this is a way you can estimate to guess what these square roots are if it's just a four-digit number. So when you've got a four-digit number and the answer is just going to have two digits, you can easily estimate and guess what the square root will be. And that, for that, we need to look carefully at this and draw a little line down through here and divide these numbers. So we have one digit in the tens place and one digit in the ones place. Now, we're going to divide this into two. Let's take 46, 24. We'll divide and split it there. 46 starts just like these other problems. What's it going to be? 36, 49. The first digit is going to be six. Put a six here. Now, to figure out what goes in the second place, we look at this last digit here of 4. And which one of these has 4 in the last place? 8 has 4 in the last place, and 2 has 4 in the last place. So this is either a 2 or an 8. The answer here is either 62 
or 68. We don't know which. We could easily find if we would go 62 times 62 and do the math. 2 times 4 is, uh, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 6 is 12, 6 times 2 is tw uh, 12, 37, 2, uh, 4, 4, 8, 3, 38, 44, 62 is not the answer, it must be 68. So we can estimate, estimate to figure out uh, four digit ones. Let's try this one, Six, uh, 17. It's gonna have to be 16, just seven, five will not work, four will work, so four here. And again, we have a four in this place. It's either gonna be a four, I mean an eight, or a two that yields a four. So 42 or 48, we don't know which. Let's take 42 times 42. Two times two is four, eight, eight, 16. Four, eight and eight, 16, 17. 1764, it is 42 is the answer. So that would be a way of finding that. Suppose the last place would be a nine. Suppose we would have a nine in this position. Then we would look and we would know that it's gonna be a three or a seven. That's how I knew here that it's gonna be a, a seven or a three. Suppose we have a six in the last position. Then you know it's either gonna be a four or a six. Suppose we have a five in the last position. We know it has to be five. Suppose we have a one in the last position. It could be a one or a nine. That can help you to estimate, and it can also help you to work these, because when you get down here and you're looking, 136 goes into 9,569 how many times? That's pretty complicated. So um, this little trick can help you a little bit. I hope that answers it for you a bit on how to solve square roots, how to extract square roots uh, manually. I think it's a kind of fun process. It has many steps, but review those steps and review those steps until they're in your head. You've got them memorized, and then see if you can work your math correctly. And when it comes out and your answers yield zero at the end, very pleasurable. Enjoy.